welcome to JDE Quick Tips. I'm Craig Hill, and today we're going to cover a use case for a manufacturing planner or a buyer planner uh, using the MRP um, output of the system. Processing your detailed MRP messages can be a lot of work for a planner, so we need to make that as efficient as possible. So we're going to show, uh, as you can see here, these MRP messages. There's a tire pump here. The system is suggesting that we order 6,600 units of this product. That seems like an awful lot to me, so I want to kind of verify that. I want to trust, but verify. And it's good to make sure you're not ordering too many or too little of this item. So I'm sure as a planner, you often go to the supply and demand screen. So you can do a row exit, the supply and demand, which takes you to that screen. Now you can't see the previous screen. And you can look around at this and say, well, I've got some historical sales orders putting demand on this item. What's that about? And I can form exit to item availability and look at this screen here and see that I have 400 on hand, 7,000 committed. So I'm in the whole 6,600. Hmm. Now I see why it's suggested 6,600. Well, I might like that. I might not like that. So I can back out of here. Notice that the screen time to move from screen to screen and I can decide to go ahead and firm that message or change the quantity. But what I want to show you is that rather than doing row exit form exit, we can show all that information on the same screen so it's right there. You don't have to jump and navigate to the other screens and wait for that navigation to happen. So if you're on Enterprise One Tools 914 or higher and if you click on this your name up here and see this option to edit the form layout that means I can do cafe one. So if I just click this button, if I right click here, hold my mouse down and let go, then I can say, you know, I'd like to see the supply and demand screen over here and dynamically link that by business unit. And once I do that, I get these little orange plus signs over here. I'm going to click on the branch plant, hook that to business unit, go down to item number, I'm going to map that over to the item number and I'm going to hit save. And voila, I have a supply and demand screen for whatever item I'm clicking on over here. And it'll move around with whatever item I click on. It'll show me the supply and demand and I'm not waiting. I'm not having to take a row exit and wait to go to that form, but I'm not done yet. If you'd like to also have item availability, we can add that to the screen also. I'm going to add that over here. That's P04102, and I want to pick the form that gives me summary availability. Dynamically link that, again, by branch plant, which is business unit. And I don't want to pick item number short. I want to pick the longer item number, save that. And now I have item availability here. So I can see those items down here. If I like what I've done, I give it a name. And it'll save that and hit close. And now for this tire pump, I can see supply and demand. Click off of that one. Let's click this one. It's going to show me supply and demand. And it's going to show me item availability over here. And I can see it all at once. I just have to save this if I like what I did. So now you're not waiting and navigating from form to form. You've seen all your information right together without hitting row exit, without hitting form exit. Much more efficient, a lot of messages to get through sometimes. So this will help me get my job done faster. That's how we make this screen more efficient to use. We're not navigating from panel to panel in JD Edwards. It's a lot easier to do. You can get through your messages faster and get your job done faster. So that's our tip for today. I'm Craig Hill with CNA Technology. We'll see you next time for JDE Quick Tips. Thank you.